Today we're going to show you how to install the GC245 camera onto your vessel. For this process, you will need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, a power drill, a 7 64th inch, 3 16th inch, and 3 8 inch drill bit, 5 16th SMA connector torque wrench, 5 16th wrench, 3M marine adhesive sealant, 5200 or equivalent, mounting screws, GVAM 10 black box, included C-Wrench, and a compatible chart plotter or BlueNet 20 switch. In this video, we will be using a GPS Map 8612 XSV chart plotter. You can mount the GC245 Marine camera in a wide range of orientations by adjusting the camera module in the housing before locking it in position. We recommend installing the camera with the lens pointing down by approximately 35 degrees with the waterline to ensure an adequate view of objects close to your vessel. First, locate a place to mount the GVAM 10 black box. This area must be above the waterline, provide adequate ventilation, and in a location allowing room for routing and connection of all cables. Now route the Garmin BlueNet cable built into the GVAM 10 black box to your Garmin compatible chart plotter or the Garmin BlueNet 20 switch. The Garmin Marine Network adapter will need to be used if you do not have a BlueNet port on your compatible chart plotter. Connect the Garmin BlueNet cable with the adapter cable to an open network port. If the boat has a BlueNet 30 gateway connected to a Garmin Marine Network device, you should connect the GC245 camera directly to your Garmin BlueNet chart plotter for the best performance. Tighten the locking rings on the connectors. The GC245 camera comes with the camera housing attached to the base plate. We must separate these before we install the camera. Holding the camera in your hand, place the included C-wrench in between the camera housing and the base plate, so the tooth on the end of the wrench is in one of the notches. Turn the wrench until the camera module detaches from the base plate. You can reattach the camera and try this a couple of times to get comfortable with the method of attaching the camera module to the base plate. Now, let's prepare the camera mounting surface. Place the included mounting template on the mounting surface. Make sure the orientation of the camera seen on the mounting template is the same as the planned mounting orientation of the camera. Mark the locations of the three pilot holes and cable pass-through hole. If you plan to route the camera cable externally, you should still mark or note the location of the cable pass-through hole. This helps when mounting the base plate. Drill the pilot holes using a 7 64th inch drill bit. If routing the coaxial cable internally, drill the cable pass-through hole using a 3 8 inch drill bit. Apply marine sealant to the holes. Place the base plate on the mounting area lining up the pilot holes. Place the mounting screw in each pilot hole and tighten with a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. If routing the cable externally, route the camera's coaxial cable through the hole on the base plate. Hold the coaxial cable in the channel on the back of the base plate. Secure the base plate to the mounting surface using the three pilot screws. Attach the camera to the base plate, ensuring the notches align on the base plate and on the camera. Use the included wrench to turn the locking ring clockwise until you feel it click. Connect the coaxial cable to the black box using a 5 16 wrench. Connect the other end of the coaxial cable to the camera's coaxial cable using a 5 16 inch wrench. Tighten both connectors to 8 inch pounds using a 5 16 SMA torque wrench. You should use an additional 5 16 wrench to hold the camera cable steady when you apply torque. Now it's time to power on your compatible Garmin Marine chart plotter. First, select the home icon on your chart plotter. Then, select vessel. Select video. 
Select Options. Select Source if you have more than one camera on the network. Select the appropriate camera. Refer to the video feed on the chart plotter screen. Rotate and tilt the camera module until you achieve the desired field of view. You can also use Active Captain to view the chart plotter screen on your mobile device while adjusting the camera. The camera can rotate up to 80 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. The red dot that marks the top of the lens must point away from the Garmin logo on the housing. Hold the camera module and housing in position while rotating the lens. Now, fully secure the camera. Use the included wrench to tighten the locking ring an eighth of a full turn. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.